my goodness, look at that. We're back with the Fox News alert. Police in Hong Kong firing tear gas and high pressure water hoses at protesters who have been protesting for the last week. Oh my gosh, the videos are just crazy. Thousands of people blocking the entrance to government headquarters in the protest of a controversial extradition bill. Yeah, do something in Hong Kong, get thrown into mainland China. Not good. Conlon, Connell McShane is from the Fox Business Network, is live in Hong Kong with a lot of these clashes. Uh, Connell, these are not subsiding, right? Not at all, Brian. It's interesting because, if anything, it was picking up and getting more intense as the day went on here on a Wednesday in Hong Kong. And as we move into the evening, things finally calming down, it appears, a bit. But those new videos that you just showed of the tear gas being used, that was late in the day here in Hong Kong. We had spent a number of hours with those protesters earlier in the day. And what was supposed to happen is this controversial extradition bill was supposed to have been debated inside the legislature late morning Wednesday in Hong Kong. The protesters, though, they blocked all the entrances. Nobody could get in to have a debate. So the decision was made to delay that. Now, what we can tell you about this group of protesters after having spent some time with them, for the most part, young people, many university students, many people who grew up here in Hong Kong and are worried that the freedom they've enjoyed might be going away. Here's what one of them told us earlier on. We are not afraid of anything, but because what they did, what they're doing is not, it's not the right for all the Hong Kong people. It's, is, um, is deducting our freedom and then turning us to be a dark side. So we are not afraid of anything, but the government did everything to make us angry. So that's why we are here. Uh -huh. We try to stop anything we can do. Trying to stop this extradition bill, guys. And as you alluded to, alluded to, Brian, coming in, what would happen here potentially is if you're accused of a crime here in Hong Kong, known for years, especially in the international business community, for its freedoms, you potentially could be extradited and sent across the border to be tried for that crime in mainland China, where the laws are certainly much different. Back yeah, to you guys in New York. It's hard for them to arrest millions of people. Uh, so as long as the numbers are great, their safety is probably okay. But as soon as somebody hops up with one of those bullhorns, they're going to be targeted. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, Connor. I was watching some of that video, and the police officers were coming toward the protesters. The protesters were throwing umbrellas at them, throwing rocks and bottles at them, and the police officers had to use their batons. Uh, to a couple of themselves. days ago, there were one million people in the city of seven that. million, a million people on the streets protesting this. They're fearful that their civil liberties are under threat, would be taken away. They want the government to know. We don't like it. Yeah, we should speak out for that because if we let Hong Kong go, uh, Taiwan would be next. Meanwhile, uh, Jillian.